Hey guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. Today I'm bringing you back for another episode in my series Flip This House where I am transforming my brother's new house that he bought by flipping the entire thing. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos, make sure to check the description box down below. I will leave the entire playlist and update it as more videos go live. But I'm super excited for today because you can already see a sneak peek behind me. It's this beautiful barn door. I'm really excited because in today's video, I'm going to be staining this, adding some frosted glass, showing you how to attach the hardware to the wall, and we're gonna make this the bathroom barn door. I am so freaking excited. We will take this door out into the front yard and stain it, and then we will add the frosted glass, and then we will mount it to the wall, and then I will show you the big reveal of what it looks like. Super excited for that. It will also give you a little bit of a sneak peek into his den and slightly a sneak peek into the bathroom. But make sure you're checking back for those other videos for this series because we are doing the entire house. And at the end of it, we will have reveal videos for all of the different rooms. And I'm just super excited. It's gonna be an awesome series. It already is, because there's probably already videos live by the time you are watching this. So make sure you check that out in the description box below. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so that you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I regularly upload videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. And during this series, every Saturday at three is going to be for the Flip This House series. So I'm super excited. All right guys, so the items that you're gonna need for this project, obviously behind me, we have the barn door. Then I'll show you this roll. It looks like any other contact paper roll right now. So I guess it doesn't really do it justice, but this will be the frosted glass. I picked this up on Amazon. I'll make sure to link it down below for you guys. The other things you're going to need are galvanized pipes. So I picked these up at Lowe's along with everything else that I'm going to show you. And then I also bought three of these. They're like the floor flange at the half inch. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the pipe is half inch thick. So three of the floor flange, which will attach to the wall, one T flange, which will connect the two 36 inch pieces. And then this will give it a support in the middle of the pole. So that way the door has three points of contact to the wall. Also have two elbow pieces here and three connectors. These are the closed cap ones, which basically means it's short enough to where they will be hidden. I got the, what are these exactly called? They're not eye bolts, they are screw hooks. They're called screw hooks. They're almost like eye bolts, but basically there's an open edge right there. That way this can screw in, well, both of them, I bought two. They can screw into either side of the door and then it will like hook onto the galvanized pipe so it'll hook on like this and be able to slide across open and closed. And the last two things that I have to show you are the stain that we are going to use. So I picked this wood stain in the color dark walnut and then just two shop rags that I will use for the stain because it's a whole lot easier than using a paintbrush. So there's everything we need for this barn door project. I actually bought a couple of saw horses that are collapsible that I'm going to use, which I'm really excited for. I'm like nerding out about because we didn't have any saw horses before. And like, huh, I don't know why I've went this long without them. I am going to set the saw horses out on the front porch, put a drop cloth down, take this barn door out behind me, put it on top, and then we will start with the front staining process.
day two of this project. The door we brought inside, so it is behind the camera here. It is pretty much all dried now. What I wanna first do is we are going to take all of our different pieces and I'm gonna assemble it so that you guys can see what the hanging system is gonna look like. And then after that, we'll hop on over to the door and we will put the contact paper on for the frosted glass, move on over into the bedroom so we can hang up this door and finally see the big reveal. Alright guys, so all of the tape is removed from the door, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this contact paper that is the frosted glass that I told you about earlier. I brought over my cutting mat and a rotary blade and ruler, that way I can get a nice crisp cut. And the plan is, hopefully this works well, I'm going to cut all uh, 10 squares and put the frosted glass on. I don't know what it looks like specifically. I've only seen Amazon reviews, so I'm excited to open this up and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so the next step we're going to do here, obviously you watched me just mount up our bracer board like I talked about early in the video. Now we need to take our galvanized pipe and mount it up to this board. So I made sure to measure already ahead of time where exactly I want it to go on the wall. So let's go ahead, grab our screws, drill, and this galvanized pipe, and probably my lovely assistant mom for helping me hold it, and we'll attach this thing to the wall. Wait, come over here. Can we here. Pink yet? Come over here. <laughs> we didn't think this one through. Um, oh, yeah. I'm standing on the ladder, but my mom, oh, my mom can't reach to hold it. So, I get the thing. We're gonna, we're gonna wing it. Alright guys, we hung up the galvanized pole. The last thing we need to do is take our hooks, whatever we wanted to call them, and we need to attach them to this door. So I have my drill bit. I'm going to drill it relatively close to the edge here on the edge of the board, and then we can screw these both into either side and hang it up.
All right, guys, super excited for how this door looks. I love it. I love the galvanized pipe, how it looks with the frosted glass. I think it's amazing. I'm so excited for it to be hanging up in his room finally. This looks so good. So good. I'm really, really happy with it. If you guys enjoyed this barn door video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know if you're enjoying Flip This House series, because I know I am. I know we have probably at this point in the series a couple more videos left to go. So make sure you check down in the description box below for the playlist for the entire series. That way you can watch all of them. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you'll feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I regularly upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, so I will check back with you in another video soon. Bye, guys!